Hello everyone and welcome back to Flights in 2020 where I present a tour of the Himalayas from Amritsar in Punjab in India to Lukla in Nepal. So the flight will culminate in a flyby of Mount Everest and I'm doing it in the TBM 930. I did this flight during the live stream and unfortunately I didn't have a functioning moving map uh, at the time that I connected to the flight sim though I do have one now so you'll hear me referencing that lack a few times. I should warn you that I also do not successfully land at Lukla due to an oil pressure issue because I idled the engine for too long. So with those caveats, here is the original audio. Okay, well, rather early. Uh, it's still not dark, so okay. So we're very close to the border of India and Pakistan here at Amritsar and we're gonna fly by the Golden Temple and then move on. Interesting... I don't know what the heck is covering up the sun there, but it's weird. Not quite the cloudy thing that I was expecting. I haven't done a whole lot of early morning flights. Oh, there it is. Gosh darn it, hold on, I don't want the... Well, alright. But, I mean, it didn't even show it until we got, like, within one nautical mile. What the heck? It's the worst point of view marker... point of interest markers ever. Doesn't look particularly golden at this point, but... Okay, on we go. Hopefully it's not too misty around the mountains, but a little bit of mist is okay. I'm trying to see where exactly the city of Chandigarh is. I mean, I think it's this is the general area. This sort of has a Chandigarh feel to it. Like grid sort of thing. There's an interesting area right here. That's weird. It's like a special spot. They're really crowded in there too. Old city? Yeah, well, yeah, there could be a number of things, alright. I think that's the Kalka Pass right there, but I'm not sure. I think uh, it's this road here, maybe. Oh, we can see some writing there. Kaushalya Dam? Kaushalya Dam? Nice of them to put the name in there. No, 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 we're nowhere near Nepal. That's all to the east. We are farther to the west, uh, Punjab. We started in Punjab, so close to the India-Pakistan border. I think this is the pass. That's a heck of a roadway if that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I think they might have neglected to flatten it out a bit. I might need to cut down on the clouds. This might be too cloudy a day for this. 
I'm hoping that that Boar Station is uh, where I want to go. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna give up on this much cloud. It's gonna be too much. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have time to visit Everest, yeah. That's the goal. I think, is this Shimla? Or part of it, maybe. I don't know all the states of uh, India, so... Somewhere around here is a big city on a mountaintop. <laughs> I can see the airport. All right. I don't know how close the airport is to the town. But. Yeah, everybody visits Everest. They forget that there's a whole mountain range of a lot to see here. Well, there's the airport. I don't know where the rest is. There's a city somewhere around. That's that's a nice airport too. That's no Lukla. Pretty solid runway. Anyway, I think I'll just call all of this Shimla and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, on to the next thing. So we're headed towards Dehradun is where we're headed. And we'll see the source of the Yamuna and Ganges rivers. This is probably one of the tributaries to one of them. Probably the Yamuna River. Look at all this business, jeez. That's some serious farming. <laughs> this is TBM, yeah. Look at these guys. <laughs> oh boy. So this little river here is going out. And I guess that's the Yamuna River, River right there, so they all sort of converge into it. Well, if you're worried about falling down a mountain, this little spot ain't too bad. These guys aren't too bad off either. Floods might be a problem. So again, all this is flowing into the Yamuna River there. And then, I think this city here is Dehradun. And so all the rivers going this way to the west are flowing into the Yamuna River. And all the rivers to the east are flowing into the Ganges River. Mm -hmm. 
it all ends up in Bangladesh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of farms. This may be Rishikesh, I can't tell. Is that one more? Uh, this this is probably more Rishikesh. I can see that. It's not like the in-game map is going to help at all. I don't know. The other place seemed to look a little bit better though. This seems a bit motley. On the bright side, most of the terrain is going to force us to fly pretty high, so... Good on efficiency. Downside, I'm weaving back and forth between things, so... We're not exactly flying a straight course. A little bit of patchiness on the photo scenery here. Oh, I think this is... Maybe this is Nanda Devi right here. Because we've got a pretty prominent glacier coming out of it. Charts in the glass cockpit. I mean, uh, aside from the default charts, you mean load extra charts in? No, I have not. I mean... We don't have like an iPad or anything. Oh, you wanted just the GPS. There, 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 the GPS. But the GPS, this GPS is identical to this map. <laughs> the in-game map and the GPS, GPS are the same. And neither of them gives the frequencies of the airports like a VFR map would. So. So I think this is Nanda Devi. Well, I can see a pretty prominent peak right there. I guess we'll sort of vaguely head towards that next. I think that might be Punch Chuli. If there are five peaks right there, then it is. I think it's Punch Chuli, but I'm not sure. That looks like five peaks, so I have one, two, three, four, five. But I'm not 100% sure. A little more mountains. This side is okay. This side, the mesh is sort of meh. <laughs> this side is definitely better. Okay, Annapurna should be around here ish. And then Everest is around mm. now it's basically north of Lakla here this is Annapurna which is our most important next destination I think that's looking pretty good from a distance though Peaks are tough. Well, there's some peaks over there. Uh, I hope that's not too far north. No, nope, should be fine. We'll head over there. Get this strange feeling, you got, but nobody can hear the music anyway, so I'll just abandon that aspect of things. We're in the middle of Nepal now. I wonder if we zoom into the map here, if we can see some... Well, we just passed a VNJU, so what city is that? VNJU. Google does not apparently know where this airport code is. Gosh, whatever this, this VNJU is, it seems rather difficult to find. I don't know what airport that is. <laughs> uh, interesting. VNJL. Okay, well, let's try that. Joomla. Okay. So we're well north of Joomla. 
We're headed towards the Annapurna Conservation Area, hopefully. Which should be here. It's weird having a map in the game that doesn't even show the borders of countries. Somewhere around here is Dalagiri. Don't know which one is which though. Past this there should be a valley. Interesting sort of perch here. We can see quite a drop down there. I think. There's sort of this cluster up here and then it's all downhill from here. Look at that slope though. This is a pretty dramatic drop too. This seems like the most prominent peak around here-ish. Uh, I don't know exactly what to call it. Might be Dalagiri, might not be. Well, 31%, I mean, it seems to be okay. We, we only have 178 nautical miles to go. It's 81 gallons per hour, and we've got uh, 89 gallons, so. Sort of an intimidating valley, actually. Almost claustrophobic with all these mountains nearby. I feel like this area here must be Annapurna or something related to it. Uh, it's tough to say. I can only say that uh, on the map it's definitely past this ridge. And this is about as prominent a thing. I mean there's lots of stuff here but Yeah, yeah, that, I see that lake now. So, uh, behind us is Annapurna Dakshin then, I think. Or, uh, well, uh, no, Titslo Himal. And, well, we basically got Annapurnas around us, let me put it that way. There's an Annapurna Dakshin, Annapurna 3, Annapurna 2. So, uh, there's a lot of Annapurna going around here. I think this is probably the main valley, maybe. There's a little community there. I think I see an airport there. Yeah, I mean, there's a town called Manang and... Uh, Upper Pisan, stuff like that. There's a bunch of towns around here, and there's definitely an uh, airfield right there. So this is where the peoples in this Annapurna area live. The mountains on this side are looking good, at least. Stuff on this side could do with some work. <laughs> this side is looking okay. I think, hold on, I'm gonna take a little excursion here. I'm gonna just take a look past this bridge here. Forget if this was a little pocket or not. 
I think there's a glacier and stuff here. Yeah, not exactly what I was looking for, but... That's a steep ride down. Jedi Fallen Order would totally have you slide down that for no apparent reason. And then you can see a whole valley down from the outflow of this glacier. Okay, but let's get back to en route. Oh, I guess we'll fly over Kathmandu. Jeez, why not? It's right there. Oh, yeah, these are done very nicely around here. A little bit of problem in the back there, but overall this looks good. Some other tall ones right there. But Everest should be north here, so... It's a little bit of a detour. And I don't know how our fuel's gonna handle on that. Hopefully not too bad. I'm sort of rethinking the wisdom of trying to land at Lukla after this, though. I have a strange foreboding that that's not gonna end well. Oh, I think I see the city. It's over here. Well, seems like a logical place to build a city, but it's still a heck of a place to build a city. There's that airport that, uh, in... X-Plane 11 always ends up bumpy. Look at this place, I mean... And then suddenly city, right? I mean... <laughs> Katmandu, everyone. Okay, let's point more decisively towards... Everest. I think we sort of see it. I think that's probably it. Maybe. I mean, we're already at 23,000 feet, so... That's a nice valley. It is nice. It is well done. Looking good. I think Lukla must be down this valley some ways. Wait. Or no, it's... Down this valley and hang a right. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere down there-ish. Well, we're gonna land at Lukla, which might actually be harder. I think the glacier would be easier. <laughs> Glaciers are sort of like nice, really long runways. Sure, have your pick. This is really smooth right here. Would probably like skis. I wonder if the simulator requires skis for landing on snow or even if that's physically something they thought about at all. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't seem to really understand bush flying at all, so I don't know. Look at all these glaciers. There's a ton of glaciers. Let's see what kind of peaks are to our left there. There's a Pumori and a Lubu Lobuchi? I don't know. There's a Lobuchi and a Tobuchi. I don't know what to do about that.
they're all sort of working together to make a lot of glaciers here, basically. That's the feel I get. It's definitely sort of a conclave of, of mountains here. They're all sort of part of one glacial system. Going that away. Definitely all flowing that away. This is Everest, I guess. We'll fly over it and check. It's got some uh, attendant peaks right next to it. <laughs> Surrounding. Well, look, not everything can be Mount Fuji, okay? Olympus Mons is too gradual. You don't even notice it's a mountain. <laughs> it's like... It's like a pimple. It's not even a mountain. That other peak right there, oh, there's a seam suddenly. Uh, it's fixing itself. That other peak right there is pretty darn close. It's like so close. It must feel really bad to be so close to glory and not quite there. I wish the altitude warning thing would go off. <laughs> You know, uh, 500 feet or something. Uh, all right, I, I'm convinced that that's 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 it. Yeah. We have done Mount Everest. There it is. Mount Everest and friends. This bit looks a little bit weird, but that's a steep sort of side there. That's always going to be tough. There's a valley for you. I'm just going to keep sliding down that. And this. Now, which one is the one to Lukla? Uh, not either of these, actually. I think uh, maybe if you follow this one down, maybe. So Lukla is 9,334 feet. So we do have a lot of dropping to do. Yeah, I think uh, this is the valley that goes down. Last look. Uh, okay, after three hours of flying, uh, really good to land at this place. Hmm. I think I see another plane right there. Right here. There's a glinting. Can't quite see it anymore though. Nah, I, I don't know. Uh, you can't put the planes together in the sim here. <laughs> Imagine having the ability to put the planes together in here. The way you can in uh, KSP. Now we're talking. Then we'll be talking. There's a plane. Okay, so. Oh, there's Lukla. Okay. Um, great. <laughs> I feel totally wonderful about my prospects here. Oh, great. I'll put out the landing gear if you promise not to break it. I'm not going to be able to do it on this pass, but we'll go around.
Why does it even think that I need my landing gear anyway? Little blue houses. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have a problem. Uh, it died. Uh. Oh, great. Do we have it back? I'm not feeling a lot of speed here. Ooh, this is not the way I'm supposed to land there. I've got a lot of RPM, no torque. I've got the landing gear out. Okay, this is not good. Why did my engine have to quit right there? Why did why did my engine have to quit right there? <laughs> I I missed the part where that was that was the thing it was supposed to do. Microburst. Well, I'll have to watch the VOD myself, so I don't know what went wrong. I'll take a look at it. Maybe I throttled back too far, because uh, I was thr I was basically idling the engine. Maybe it uh, that's a problem for this the engine on this plane. That if you set idle, it uh, messes up the oil pressure. It looked like the first error was the oil pressure. So maybe I throttled back so bad that uh, so much that the oil pressure wasn't good. It might be also be an altitude thing. Um, if uh, you throttle back too much, the oil pressure has a problem at high altitude, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'll have to try and land at Luckless some other time. With that, I think I'll wrap up. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the flight, and I'll see you guys. Uh, Twin Otter would be nice, too. I'll see you guys next time.